Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today we're taking a look at the Blue Vivo 5R. The Vivo 5R is the latest in line of Blue products, and this is actually a refresh to the Blue Vivo 5, which came out earlier this year. Now, this is a device that is really slick and thin, about 6.9 millimeters. Um, it had a 720p display at that time, and also came with USB Type-C charging, uh, which was one of the earlier uh, budget devices we saw with this at the beginning of the year. Uh, really nice device all around and pretty solid. But what's the difference there with the Vivo 5 to the Vivo 5R? Now, the Vivo 5R speaker is at the back. As you can see, it's also got that gold color tone, but it does have a fingerprint sensor, a 13 megapixel shooter and LED flash uh, on this device here. Now, that fingerprint sensor is pretty snappy. Now, this is also a dual SIM device. Uh, one SIM is full size, one is micro, and supports a micro SD up to 64 gigabytes. Blue, please, you need to fix that. Now, in terms of other specs, it's a full HD device, so which means the display is 5.5 inches, 1080p, is running a MediaTek Octa-Core processor, 32 gigabytes of internal storage, three gigs of RAM. Uh, as I mentioned, the red camera is 13, the front is eight megapixels, and you have a 3150 milliamp battery. As you expect with all blue products, you get a bunch of accessories uh, in there, case, screen protector, battery charger, uh, uh, headphones as well as uh, micro USB cables because this uses micro USB charging. So this is different. I'm not sure why Blue went back. Now the fingerprint sensor is pretty sharp and fast and does a really good job in just recognizing. Now the OS of course is running that EMUI uh, which Blue is known for running which I'm not a big fan of so hopefully they make some changes there but still runs smoothly by the way. Even though I'm not a fan of it, it still runs pretty well. Uh, of course if you want to throw your own uh, a launcher on there you can definitely do that. Uh, in terms of functionality though it's pretty smooth. The optical processor handles very very well and as you navigate throughout the screen you get some really good performance altogether. In the settings menu, you have a couple of uh, uh, options just for gesture controls. So you can go into the advanced settings as the settings break out and do check out something like smart gesture to set up, you know, things like pausing the alarm, um, you know, smart vibration reminders, brighten the screen, all that kind of fun little stuff that you can do with the device. Now, when it comes to the battery, as I mentioned, the battery is a 3150 milliamp battery. The battery life is absolutely fantastic on this thing. Um, I've been using it for four days. I have not turned it off or charged it. That's why it's at 13% while doing this review. Uh, the battery life is really good. I'm not going to say it actually lasts for four days in full, but you're going to get well over 24 hours on this device, which is absolutely fantastic. So if you're someone who's looking for a, a budget smartphone with a really good battery that should last you quite a while, this is the device that will do that for you and should, should give you some really solid performance all the way through. Uh, now, looking at the camera. Now, you've got an updated camera app that matches what we saw with the Blue Pure uh, XR. This thing gives you a pro mode, which allows you to customize your photos with more accuracy by changing your white balance, your exposure, your shutter speed, those kind of things that you've seen in so many devices, you have that here. So that's pretty cool that uh, you get that kind of flexibility, which gives you more control of the camera and actually makes this camera much more usable. It's a 30 megapixel shooter uh, and it does a really good job uh, for what it is to actually give you some really nice photos. And taking a look at some of those photos, you can see how we change the settings just with the camera app, uh, making it much brighter, a little darker, a little bit more focused. Again, this is all taken at the same time using the, uh, the professional mode to give just a different outcome with each take. Uh, that's what I like about having a pro mode on the camera. So I can take this shot here and have the background of New York look very bright uh, with super amount of focus, but then have more focus in the next photo. Now, uh, as a camera it does a decent job uh, nighttime photos are still not that great but in daytime and also uh, using the pro mode to customize things you really get some really good shots the macro shot is also very nice and gives you some really really good focus so the camera is a decent camera overall now in terms of gaming performance this thing handles well the mediatek core core processor does a very good job and i'm surprised a lot of other companies are not using mediatek especially in their budget lines just because it does a good job in handling performance 
gameplay as well as just general overall use case for devices like this. So overall, the Blue Vivo 5R, I do like the device. Uh, things that I don't like is kind of just the color scheme. Uh, the Vivo 5 was all gold front and back. I wish this was the same thing. This device is gold with kind of like a white front, or you can get a black front and a silver back, which I'm not a big fan of. I like that unified color look. So that's something they should just put in mind. And I want to see Blue expand uh, the memory card storage past 64 gigabytes because it's a very it's a little limiting if you're moving from device to device but in terms of performance and what you're getting for this device at 199 you've got a, a good camera you've got really solid performance all around all around you've got great battery life with the blue vivo 5r so guys if you have any questions or any comments let us know these two uh devices will be launched on september 21st and they are available through either amazon or best buy if you're looking to pick them up we have the links for you guys down below so don't forget to like and share this video favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.